Eddie, at first, police and fire officials thought this was just a routine daytime fire in the second floor apartment behind me here at 80 Seaman Avenue. Then it turned deadly, and now a family is in mourning. Very nice people, but I, you know, I don't want to. Their, their families in grieving. Mm -hmm. Older lady, mm -hmm. around her 80s. Mm -hmm. Very nice. The super of the building here at 80 Seaman Avenue, so sad after a beloved longtime resident was critically injured in a second floor apartment fire where her 51 year old son was killed. It was a single alarm fire called in just before noon. 12 units and 60 firefighters put out the flames within half an hour. Once they were inside the charred apartment, they found the 86 year old woman and her 51 year old son unconscious and unresponsive. They were both rushed to New York Presbyterian Allen Hospital, where the son was pronounced deceased, his mother fighting for her life. Residents are so upset, a next door neighbor spotted the flames and called 911. I was in my kitchen and I saw um, smoke coming out of the windows. I feel very sorry for her because um, she's a very nice lady. You know, she's been there for years, very quiet. Horrible, especially now that Christmas is right around the corner, you know? and. They this you know the person's deceased behind this. How it happened this was it was you know what I'm wondering. Fire marshals were on the scene for hours searching for the cause of the fire, which was believed to have started in the living room. Neighbors now thinking about a family dealing with tragedy during the holidays. To find out that uh, that these two people, one person dead and maybe another, um, is terrible, especially during the holiday season. Three, two. Police have not yet released the name of the son who was killed. His mother still in critical condition at the hospital. And at this point, police and fire officials are saying the fire does not appear to be suspicious.